Hi everybody and welcome to Josiah is Right. So today, as I post this, it is Jim Henson's birthday. So before I begin anything else, happy birthday to Jim Henson. Now I have to say, Mr. Henson was the first famous person that I wanted to be like. I wanted to be Jim Henson. Maybe the second, Mr. Rogers. After all, I am a kid from Pittsburgh. Before I wanted to be Stan Lee or George Lucas, I wanted to be Jim Henson. His death was also the first time I cried for someone that I didn't know, that I cried for a famous person. I felt like I'd lost a family friend or a beloved uncle. He always managed to be somehow so human behind felt and plastic. He is someone I never knew yet continue to miss. I had the pleasure of meeting and partnering with his daughter, Heather, in my graphation days, sharing her amazing series of curated and produced puppet films, Handmade Puppet Dreams. A big part of the goal of graphation was to celebrate practical effects and puppetry specifically. We even had an award for that. An award we wanted to name after Mr. Henson, but changed the very polite request of the Henson Company, who actually introduced me to Heather. Note that Jack Kirby award. We didn't get approved for that one, but we just went with it. Now I have friends, filmmaker Kevin McTurk, Sam Hale, and others making amazing puppet films. Below you can find a link to an LA Weekly article about an event we did with Graphation, as well as links to some of their other and current projects. All that said, this list is a personal tribute to Mr. Henson and what he meant to me growing up. What he continues to mean to me as an adult. What he'll mean to me with my daughter and passing on a legacy of joy and care about these things when she grows up. Now understand, this list isn't ranked on quality. Some of these might be a little bit lower quality than some of the other things on this list, but rank higher in the list. But these are ranked in terms of personal impact on my life. So thank you, Mr. Henson, and to everybody watching, I hope you enjoy the list. And thank you to everyone beyond Jim Henson that worked on these things. There's a lot of great and amazing talented people. First, Emmett Otter's Jug Band Christmas. And this is actually the 11th on a list of 10, so I kind of had to squeeze an extra one in there. A beautiful and simple tale, a play on the gift of the Magi, it showed a selfless little otter sacrificing to show those he loved how much he loved them. Muppet Babies. This cartoon shaped my childhood and may have been my introduction to the Muppets. Also, it's full of great references and parodies I certainly didn't get as a kid. The Muppets Take Manhattan. I love the idea of Kermit as a hopeful young playwright, trying to make it on Broadway. Then of course, bumps in the road and such. But it all goes well, because he has his friends. Follow That Bird. It's about a child searching for identity, and would hint at the darkness that some other hints and things would come for me. Also, the scariest villain of the 80s, right there. The Storyteller. The first dark Henson entry on my list, and the masterpiece theater of the Jim Henson world. This is certainly not kid stuff, but is awesome and just rich with detail, and really good stories. It is the storyteller after all. Labyrinth. Speaking of dark, I loved and hated the Bog of Eternal Stench, or the Fart Swamp as we called it. Also, I totally lived in fear the Goblin King would kidnap me, as the younger brother myself. Totally still do. Fear has not gone away. Fraggle Rock. And first, is that the same dog from the Storyteller? Regardless, as a kid, I would look under things and in little cracks and in holes in the house, hoping to find a Fraggle. And I'm still looking. The Muppet Movie. For me, and probably for many, this is where it all begins. It's meta, they're watching the movie about their own origin. Awesome. And it's the best summation of why I still, to this day, love the Muppets. See? I still love these guys. The Dark Crystal. Jim Henson's Lord of the Rings. I love virtually everything about this movie. The Skeksis, still totally terrifying, and the Gelflings, they give me hope despite that terror. Hope, faith, and courage always win, and that's what these guys show you in this movie. A Muppet Christmas Carol. This came after Jim Henson passed on, but for me, it felt like the Muppet Swan Song for him. It takes the best of an all-time classic tale and combines it with some of my best friends, Kermit, Fozzie, Miss Piggy, and on and on and on. And number one, on a list that really isn't organized by ranking numbers, Sesame Street. No media defined my childhood more than this, and no media taught me more, even Mr. Rogers, who was actually very neighborly with Sesame Street, living right down the street in my mind. It was the same for a generation before me and generations after me. So that's it. 
that's my top 10 list. Thank you again to Mr. Henson for making these things. Thank you for all the great and talented artists that worked with him and helped him and brought other characters to life and people that carried on that legacy after he passed. That legacy that continues today. But again, thank you most of all to Mr. Henson. Your art and your inspiration touched me and continues to do so. It means a lot. It shaped me as a person and as an artist. Now that was just a few seconds of each of those things and how they impacted me and I can hardly do them justice. So be sure to look into them yourselves and find out what makes them great. Even things like Muppet Babies and Follow That Bird. You can see the heart and soul that's there and that comes from Jim Henson and through characters like Kermit here and the guys behind me. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment and let me know what are your personal favorite Jim Henson films and TV shows. Again, not necessarily the best because that would maybe be a different list. Dark Crystal would still be pretty high in there. But what are the ones that meant the most to you? Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And remember, why are there so many songs about rainbows? That's my terrible Kermit impression, but my puppeteering was hopefully at least better than the impression, or at least on par with it. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. And thank you, Mr. Henson, one more time.